So now we can use that point file to actually create our final visualization. All right, so I'm going to go to the style settings of my new point layer. And the first thing I want to do is I want to visualize this layer using colors to denote the price. So I'm going to go to the graduated style. And for column, I'm going to specify mean price. And then I'm going to take the stroke off of the marker, no pen, in these general settings. I'm going to select a ramp. I'm going to use uh, this one. And it inverts, so green is the lowest. And five classes is fine. And then just like before, I want to use quantiles to just create a, a better distribution of colors on my map. And hit classify. And then apply. And you can see now our basic color style is looking pretty good as opposed to the points before we can now see clearly these um, trends of much higher real estate prices along the border of the city because we've actually averaged out a lot of the um, outliers or inconsistencies in the data okay, so once we set the color we actually want to change the size of each point uh, based on the count based on that density parameter right? So this is one thing that ArcGIS does slightly better than QGIS. It has a better inter interface for scaling features uh, based on data. You can do it in QGIS, but it's a little bit less intuitive. Um, you basically do that with the advanced options here. And it's going to allow you to specify how data drives the rotation of a symbol if you have a kind of not symmetrical symbol. And you can also do the size scale field. Okay. So first thing we can do is just specify the count directly. So here the count will drive the size of each point. If we hit apply, you see it works, right? But it just directly takes that value and translates it to the radius of the circle. In this case, you know some of these uh, counts are pretty high, maybe like thousands of units. So it'll just create this giant point, which is like a thousand meters uh, wide, right? So we want to be able to process that data a little bit um, to uh, try to control that range or, or make that range a better appearance in our map. Okay. So what we want to do is instead of just specifying the count directly, we want to go to expression. This will give us the same expression editor we saw before. And here I want to specify the field count. And now I can apply different kinds of operations to try to constrain that range a bit more. So for instance, I could just divide everything by two. So it's gonna take all the sizes, divide by two. It's still not exactly what I want. So I can try to edit that, maybe divide by a, a higher number, right? So I can drive that down, but you see some of these small points are getting way too small, and the big ones are still staying pretty big. And that's because the distribution, right, is really uh, wide. Uh, so I can use different kinds of math to try to compress that distribution. One thing that's really effective is exponents. So if I bring that count to uh, an exponent above one, I do things like squaring it, it'll spread out the distribution. If I use an exponent lower than one, between zero and one, it'll actually compress the, um, the distribution. This is something like taking the square root, okay? So square root would be 0.5, I can do anything um, lower the, between 0 and 1 to compress that distribution. Click apply and you can see now everything's kind of more in the same space. The bigger ones are still bigger but they're not quite so big and you can still see the smaller ones. Alright, so the, the way I figured that out is just through experimentation. Don't worry too much about you know knowing the math. Just kind of um, experiment with it and see you, how you can um, control the data. So now that's looking pretty good. I think I have my final map and you just, it's important to see that the size of these in the display is relative to the scale of the map, right? The actual size of the feature will never change, but it's gonna read a lot differently depending on what scale you see it here. Okay, so you're gonna wanna set that size according to how you wanna display it.